The Queensland Curtis LNG QC LNG project is the world's first project to turn gas from coal seams into liquefied natural gas or LNG. The required export pipeline and collection header would be Australia's largest diameter and longest onshore pipeline. The contract for the detailed design, procurement and construction of this mammoth pipeline project and associated major facilities was awarded by BG Group subsidiary QGC to MCJV, a joint venture between two highly successful and well-regarded international pipeline specialist companies, McConnell Dow Constructors and Consolidated Contracting Company Australia, CCC. The MCJB team leveraged their expertise, experience, project management systems, internal plant and operational capacity to overcome the challenges associated with executing a project of this scale. Best practice safety and environmental initiatives were implemented and resources were carefully managed to maximize engineering, logistics, procurement and construction outcomes. The scope of the Queensland Curtis LNG project QCLNG was impressive. One of the biggest challenges was the sheer scale of the project. Stretched over 540 kilometres, the construction went through four local government areas, directly affected over 200 properties and involved numerous waterway, infrastructure and utility crossings. So it was up to the 10-person strong QGC and MCJV landholder liaison teams to establish positive relationships with the project landowners who lived along the pipeline route and stay in close communication with them, keeping them abreast of the project's progress. The first challenges of working in remote locations meant that logistics were vital. With a constantly moving workforce of over 1,000 people, five state-of-the-art crew camps were set up at strategic locations as the mainline construction activities worked their way north, minimizing driving times to and from the right-of-way. Crew morale and productivity were enhanced through providing camps with comfortable accommodation, large dining rooms serving high quality meals, a gym and recreational areas and high quality water and wastewater treatment plants. With the pipeline crossing many environmentally sensitive areas, MCJV was faced with several unique engineering challenges. A construction environment management plan was established early for erosion management and sediment control, mitigation of weed and pathogen spread, noise emissions management and relocation of native Queensland bottle trees growing in the pipeline alignment. The size, weight and length of the pipe meant that everything about this project was big. A 40 metre wide easement was cleared and graded along the pipeline route. The logistics challenge associated with transporting 44,000 pipes was significant. The 42-inch steel pipes were then loaded up from stockpiles by vacuum lift onto trucks. The pipes were then trucked to the easement, unloaded and strung out end-to-end -end in preparation for welding. Large specialist pipe bending machines made the incremental and highly precise bends on the various pipes to match changes in terrain or direction en route. The large diameter of the QC LNG pipeline necessitated the use of semi-automatic welding processes to facilitate the productivity and mechanical requirements needed. The mainline welding crew consisted of seven welding huts with two welders each every hut containing either specifically imported pipe welding technology, PWT machines, or CRC fourth generation welding machines, the latest technology welding machines available. All welds were then subject to automatic ultrasonic testing to ensure that they met Australian and international standards. Each weld joint was then grit blasted and covered with a protective fusion bonded epoxy FBE field joint coating to prevent corrosion and protect against mechanical impacts. MCJV specialist trenching equipment was used to excavate the pipeline trench. 
As part of the fauna management program, the open trench was monitored every morning for wildlife. If any fauna was found, it was rescued and released into nearby appropriate habitat. The large internal plant fleet and depth of crew experience were critical to lowering in success. A fleet of large side boom tractors were carefully coordinated to gradually lower the long, heavy pipe string into the trench. About one kilometer of pipe was lowered into the trench at a time. A team of two padding machines then followed the lowering in team, filtering the trench soil into fine, sifted soil, which was poured onto the pipe to act as padding to protect the pipeline. After padding was completed, the trench was backfilled by dozers, compacted with subsoil and the original topsoil, and graded back to a pre-specified profile to encourage soil retention and vegetation growth. With such a large and varied workforce, safety and training initiatives were a top priority to ensure that safety awareness was an integral part of the project's culture. Apart from informative regular weekly toolbox talks which were held at each camp and daily pre-start meetings out in the field, MCJV also brought in specialists to continually upskill the workforce and proactively train and encourage best practice techniques in the use of different equipment. To address the very real issue of driving safety, the QC LNG project fitted all light vehicles with an in-vehicle monitoring system, IVMS, which detects speed, driving behaviour and vehicle location. This was coupled with a state-of-the-art journey management centre, JMC, based in Chinchilla, Queensland, and manned 24 hours per day, 7 days per week, by trained and competent local operators. Okay, this you. innovative system enabled the monitoring, capturing and recording of IVMS real-time data and driver communication, contributing to strong safety performance. Early in the project, the MCJV team clearly identified that erosion and sediment controls were of high risk and of significant importance during construction. Washdown bays were established to mitigate the spread of weeds and pathogens across local properties and public roads. A significant construction challenge was posed by the extreme terrain of the Calide Range Crossing, known as the Escarpment. With the Escarpment being 131 metres high, with a 30 degree angle rise, winching was considered the safest and most effective way to install the pipe. Additional safety measures were taken for all clearing, trenching and side boom equipment, tethering them to a 200 ton anchor block, which was installed at the crest of the hill. After the rollers had been installed in the trench, 20 12 metre sections of pipe were progressively welded and winched up the slope, a process repeated until the entire pipe string was in place. Another challenge successfully overcome. By the end of 2013, the final sections of the pipeline were lowered in and backfilled. Major facilities constructed and pre-commissioning achieved marking the successful completion of Australia's longest large diameter gas pipeline.